I have three sweet little stories for you for the Easter time. One for Friday, one for Saturday, and one for the Lord's Day. I'd like to ask three simple questions in these three stories. First of all, who is he? Uh, secondly, what did he do? And thirdly, wouldn't you like to know him? First, who is he? There's a viral video, 660,000 views, about a little girl in Scotland, and she's talking with her daddy as he's painting a face on an Easter egg, and she wonders if he's gone mad. And she says to him, I, I don't get the characters at Easter, she says. Are Jesus and the Easter Bunny big pals? Well, not really, says her father. Is the Easter Bunny in the Bible, she asks. Why does he carry a basket of eggs all the time? The thing is, he's not really in the, I think he's going to say Bible, in response to his little girl. And so she asks, well, does Jesus totally love chocolate? Now that confusion, I suppose, can be expected from little children today who are growing up without Sunday school, without the Word of God in their homes. But think of the scriptures 2,000 years ago when Jesus was actually living in the land of Israel. He had spent three and a half years performing the most amazing miracles, including raising people from the dead. But listen to these verses. This is Matthew 21, verse 8. And a very great multitude spread their clothes on the road. Others cut down branches from the trees and spread them on the road. Then the multitudes who went before and those who followed cried out, saying, Hosanna, that means save now. Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And when he had come into Jerusalem, all the city was moved, saying, Who is this? When we took the gospel into some major cities in the United States, Child Evangelism Fellowship told us probably 70% of the children in those cities had never heard the gospel once. Astounding, isn't it? I remember our good friend Lee Sandifer from Slidell, Louisiana. He was with us in a gospel team when we were visiting Little Rock, Arkansas, which would be considered kind of the Bible belt. And as he was going back to the van to get some more literature, he was carrying an empty box under his arm, except that in it was his Bible and a water bottle. He was walking through a poor neighborhood when suddenly he heard this woman shout, Get over here! He dutifully turned and walked over to the gate, and she said, no, no, I was calling my kids. One of the children said, what's in your box? And he said, well, there's a Bible and a water bottle. And the little boy said, can I have a drink out of your bottle? And so Lee handed the bottle to the children and said, you share it, you can keep the bottle. And then one of the children said, what's a Bible? And Lee said, well, it's about Jesus. And they said, who's Jesus? He said, you don't know who Jesus is? No. Well, you sit down here on the steps and I'll tell you the story of Jesus. And so the mother and the children all sat down. And Lee began to tell the wonderful story of God's own son coming into the world, born of a virgin at Bethlehem and how he lived this wonderful life, a perfect life, and how he blessed the little children and fed the hungry and raised the dead and healed the sick. And then how his enemies turned against him and said, we will not have this man to reign over us. And they spat on him and they beat him. And as he described the passion of Christ moving to the crucifixion, he could see the horror in the faces of the little children. They'd never heard this story before. They couldn't believe that people would treat this lovely man in such a terrible way. 
And then he talked about him dying and being buried. And then he told about the resurrection. And when he got to the resurrection, all the children began to clap. It was the first time they had ever heard it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been two millennia since Jesus was here. By this time, we should have got the word out. And on this special weekend, when people are sensitive a bit to the story of the crucifixion, let's take advantage of the opportunities to tell people about who he is. Because still many people think of him as a stranger. He's the greatest unknown person in all the world. Who is this, they asked. And the answer simply was, this is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth of Galilee. We have a better story to tell. This is Jesus, the savior of sinners, just like us.